Hi there, in this short video I'll be reminding you about internal resistance. Internal resistance is what causes electrical energy to be converted to heat energy inside a battery or power supply. In a battery it's caused by the chemicals uh, providing a resistance to the flow of current through the battery. In a power supply unit it will be caused by the internal circuitry of that power supply. Here we have uh, an electrical circuit with a battery connected to a resistor. The battery here is represented inside this dashed line. Within that dashed line we have the EMF of the battery represented here with the symbol E and the internal resistance represented with the symbol of the lowercase r. Note that you can't open up a battery and find inside a little battery and a little resistance. These are inherent properties of the battery itself, uh, which we just choose to represent in this way. Let's have a think about how we can figure out the impact of this internal resistance. If we were to apply Kirchhoff's second law to this circuit, we could add up the EMFs around the circuit, and we could add up the potential differences around the circuit. So that would give us our EMFs, that would be E, equals I multiplied by little r, plus I multiplied by big R. Now we know that this voltage across here, across the external resistor, must be equal to this voltage across here as well. There's nothing in between, so the two voltages are identical. This allows us to say that we know that V equals IR. Let's plug that into our earlier equation, so we're left with E equals I multiplied by little r, the internal resistance, plus v. And now we can choose to rearrange this if we like to get v equals e minus i little r. Now you may sometimes see this written instead as the terminal voltage equals the EMF, the electromotive force, take away the lost volts. And you can see by looking at this equation that those lost volts will not be the same in every circuit. In fact, they will depend on how large the current is, and therefore they will depend on what you've connected to. If this was connected to an item of very low resistance, then we'd get a very large current flowing and the effect of the internal resistance, the lost volts, would be larger. If, however, we had a very, very high resistance here, we would have a very, very low current flowing. So, in fact, the lost volts would be very small and our terminal voltage would be very close to our EMF. Let's have a go at working through this question. So, a car battery has an EMF of 12 volts and an internal resistance of 0 0.04 ohms. The starter motor draws current of 100 amps. Now the first part of this says to calculate the terminal PD of the battery when that starter motor is running. So we can use our equation from the previous part here. This is provided to you in the formula sheet which is V equals E take away IR that is terminal voltage equals EMF take away lost volts. So our EMF it's 12 volts, that's what would be written on the side of the battery. Take away 100 amps, which is our current, multiplied by our internal resistance of 0 0.04 ohms, which will give us a terminal PD of 8 volts. Now, the second part of this question isn't directly related to an internal resistance, but it wants us to calculate the resistance of a headlamp. So here we have, we know that the headlamp is rated as 12 volts at 36 watts. So we've got where we need to relate power, voltage, and resistance. To do that, we use our equation P equals V squared divided by R. And we can rearrange that to get R equals V squared divided by P. So 12 squared divided by 36 gives us a resistance of 4 ohms 
or uh, head lumps. Now look at the effect of the internal resistance on this circuit again. The battery should give out 12 volts, that's the EMF. However, because the starter motor is drawing such a huge current, 100 amps there, the terminal voltage, terminal PD, has dropped to 8 volts, which means that those lamps will only be supplied with 8 volts. So now our power equals V squared divided by R, but the voltage here is only 8 volts. Our resistance 4 ohms from before, which will give us a power output of 16 watts. So the power output of our lamps is halved as a result of the internal resistance. So internal resistance can play a big role in a circuit.